Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shamira Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today we are going to tackle what's going on with my broccoli bed. We need to get out with the old and in with the new. Okay guys, so there are some random things that we need to get this broccoli bed going. And that is we need to take out the broccoli because it is going to be the okra and onion bed moving forward. So we need some glass jars. We need some pruners and we need a bucket. <laughs> So let's go over, let me show you what we're keeping, what we're taking out, and what we're doing with these glass jars. But before we do anything, can we just appreciate this fighting spirit of this nasturtium? <laughs> Look at it, it even has flowers right there. So this little thing just popped up all on its own. Okay, so let's talk about this guy. Now, this is our broccoli. As you can see, it is completely gone to flower. It's over it. It doesn't want to give me any more side shoots. So that means it's time to take it out. It also means it's time to take it out because we have our okra coming in. So we want to make sure that lots of sun gets to the base of this bed, not only for the okra, but for the onions that are now doing pretty well and are trying to bulb up. So what we're going to start off doing is we are going to take off all of these little side shoots that we can and then we're also going to take off all of these leaves. Not Now the leaves, we're going to put them in two piles. We're going to have the leaves that are the top. These are the ones that we are going to use to dehydrate for our broccoli powder. And then like all these like little small tender ones, the ones in the very bottom, we are going to give those to the worms because they have run out of food. Now guys, every year I get so many people that ask me if I eat my broccoli leaves and I always say no because I don't like the taste of broccoli leaves. Um, I know, shocking, surprising. But I do use the broccoli leaves for my green powder because green powder really just gets covered up by whatever you put in the smoothie and you want the green powder to give it like the extra like nutrients to it but I don't want to waste like my greens that I like like my kale and my Swiss chard and my beet leaves and all those other things that I appreciate eating so instead I use the broccoli leaves because you can't taste them Now guys, I wanted to stop real quick to show you that there are barely any type of like little insects or bug damage to these leaves. Most of these leaves have no bug da damage to them at all. So let's take a quick minute to talk about why. Now guys, I get asked all the time about how is my garden so bug free and why there's no bugs in it. And there are bugs in it. There's plenty of bugs in it. It's just that I go along with the life cycle of the plant. So when I'm planting it, I'm trying to plant it in a time where it's not going to be able to attract the bugs. So maybe the bugs that would normally eat it aren't out yet, which is one of the beauties of growing in the desert. And then the other thing is that I don't spray my garden with anything. So therefore it has allowed all of the good bugs to come in and live in these plants too. So not only the good bu bugs, but also like the lizards and the uh, um, scorpions, surprisingly, <laughs> that I would want to keep those and all just different types of little things come in and they kind of take care of all of these issues for me. The other thing is that I prune my plants often. A plant is wanting to prune itself when it's trying to go to seed. So if I had left it as bushy as it was in the beginning, um, before I trimmed it the first time, when it went to flower, it would have attracted a ton of aphids and just all different types of things to come and thin it out. But since I didn't let it do that, then I didn't have these issues. This allows me to get the most out of the plants, like we got 
another like I want to say like four rounds of side shoots from these plants and now we get all of these leaves that we can use now I split my broccoli leaves with my worms because I'm also going to make a ton of compost both in my compost bin and directly where this is just because I'm going to bury these leaves and allow those little red wigglers to eat them and to make a bunch of worm poop so it's all about a life cycle and it's all about really paying attention to what your plant is needing and what it's wanting and that's the real secret to keeping your garden bug free it's not about spraying it with stuff it's not about even like you know spraying neem oil all over it i realized that i had to become a, like a complete organic gardener when my option was neem oil and when my garden gets to be about like a hundred and 18 degrees you don't want to spray like spray oil all over your plants because that just equals burned alive okay guys we have one down and on that entire plant I only found two little cabbage loopers they were little baby ones but um, yeah they will be bird food because they're in this pile for the birds but we are going to make sure we don't pull the roots you want to leave the roots in there this is going to give a lot of worm action to this area because those roots are going to start to die and the worms are going to come in and co compost those roots down. So once they do that, it's going to leave a bunch of nitrogen right next to both of these ochre plants, which is why we planted them in between the broccoli plants. Okay, so now we have our pile of worm food. We have our pile of the last of the shoots and the broccoli leaves we're going to dehydrate. And we have a pile of stems for the birds. Now guys, the pile of stems is not only for the birds, it's also for the lizards. Some of my little baby lizards aren't good at being able to compete with the bigger lizards in the beds. So if I put something low to the ground, and also Rebecca is huge, <laughs> if I put something low to the ground, they can eat those little wormies or any little bugs that they find. And the birds right now are in my garden looking for nesting material. Sometimes they like the big stems, and once the stems like start to dry, then they will become like little shriveled things so that then they can use that for their nesting material and they also can find some of the bugs in there too. That keeps the birds active and looking for insects in my garden because then they'll know that there's insects in there for them to eat and it also gives back to those that are protecting my garden by helping them build their nest and or be food for the little worms or the little lizards. So now what are we going to do with the rest of this garden bed and those glass jars? So now this is what it looks like, AKA it'll no longer be the backdrop for my videos. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to dig a trench all the way down um, behind any of these plants. So basically the third layer, I'm going to dig a trench because we have one, two where the ochre is and three where the onions are. Those are the three layers. I'm gonna dig a trench and I'm going to drop leaves in there and bury them so that then the back side of the bed will have a lot of worm castings in it because that's what the worms are going to eat. So we're gonna feed the worms basically in the back of the bed and also with the roots in the middle of the bed. So that's gonna be a lot of nutrients in the bed. Okay, now that we have a nice little trench back there full of our broccoli leaves, now all we're going to do is bury them and then we're gonna water this whole area. Okay, so you don't have to bury it super deep because whatever doesn't like it eat by, by the worms, it's just gonna turn into mulch and then the worms are gonna eat it anyway. Now, what we wanna do now is take the dried broccoli leaves that we had saved and we wanna use those as some mulch too, just around here so that then our soil isn't uncovered. Then all of these little ochre plants now are now uncovered, which means when the temperature drops at night, we wanna make sure that they stay warm. So that's where these glass jars come in. We're just going to pop them over top at night. Now we're gonna also remove them in the morning, so I'm not going to leave them on there, but I will just leave them out here so that then they're already out here when I come to um, pop them on top at night. 
All right guys, and that is it. That's all I got for you guys. That's how I use every single bit of my broccoli plant. None of it's gonna go in the trash, none of it's gonna go to waste. And we got, the, we got to eat the best parts of the broccoli plants. We got to feed our worms and provide so much nutrients to our soil. I get all of these questions about fertilizer too. And I, I do add fish fertilizer, but only about once a season guys. Like, so basically once a quarter for us. All the other times I'm just burying things back in the soil and I'm feeding those worms and I'm growing amazing vegetables and amazing giant plants just strictly off of those worm castings. So it's cheaper, it's easier, and you use everything. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.